red dot high boot, looking sexy and witty. Uh, today we're here to pay, pay special tribute uh, to somebody who grew up playing sports in our parks. Uh, somebody who understands the importance of making sure that we provide opportunities for our young kids so they have a future. And, and he has his own family with him today, and that's Michael Bivens. And I want to thank The Bivens family, we got a landmark. And it's because of all of y'all that this community, we are just getting started. The more I could do, the more they allow me to do. We're going to have more moments like this. I just want to say peace and love. Baby, I love you. Savannah, Shiloh, Star Star. We did it, baby. Thank you. Biv, I've known him for a long time and what he does for his community, you know, I try to give back as much as possible. He's been doing it for as big as he is and, and yeah, it's, it's such an honor to be, you know, getting a court named after you. I know that was such a big thing for him because he grew up playing ball, especially right here. But you know what? It could be named after a better person, Mike. The bricks right over there, Orchard Park. I'm sorry, Orchard Gardens. Yes. And let me tell you, I remember when we were overshooting videos when at ILD, they invited us to be in the video. Me, Pebbles, and, and, and Stephen Hill, we were all up in there and just have a great, great time. I'm so happy. He's my brother. We called and we came. You know, it's nice to see him get honored. We all from Roxbury, we ran through these parks as kids, so it's really nice to see him go on and get honored. For me, I'm alive to see this event, and I'm happy for his success. I've been out here since day one, man. I've been living in addition to the fully I've been with them since day one. Bobby Dolphin, Morgan Valley, make sure they got things straight. A great morning at Ramsey Park here in Roxbury. A big, big day in the man of the hour. Making it official, the legendary Mr. Michael Bivens. Congratulations. What's going through your head right now? How, how important was today? What was today all about for you, man? They said they're going to put some money in the hood and we're going to hold them to it. The only reason why I wouldn't put the mayor on the spot in front of the crowd is because he's been the man of his word. But if they said they're going to spend a million plus to fix this up, the lights, the court, and make it a fly environment for us, then that'll be my job. Before I celebrate, I just want to make sure he does what he said he's going to do because this park is for the community. And you said from Candy Girl and now back to Ramsey Park with, the, with a court named in your honor. What always brings you home? What's kept it connected to Boston with all the world travel you're doing, all the fame that you've reached? What keeps bringing you home? Well, my mother's here, and I, I still live upstairs. So. <laughs> you got a mass driver's license. And I got a mass driver's license. <laughs> so to me, I just creep in and stay low, like, you know, I know a lot of musicians come to town, they want to go to the club and see our girls, but I got a wife. So I might not hit a club to let you know I'm in the hood. I, I might just go through Dudley and creep up the Simcoe's and if you catch me, you catch me, but I don't really like to walk around with purple on and say I'm here, so I really never left. And, and the thing is, keeping my license, Courtney, with a Massachusetts on it was the most important thing to me. I never wanted to be seen with another state on my face. And you've always represented Boston. And when you look, we just had Big Poppy. They named the bridge down around the corner by Fenway. Now you've got the park. Brothers are doing it big in Boston. Why, why is it important that that's happening? And how does it feel to be a role model now to the young men and women that are coming up from this community? Well, the, the role model I'm trying to be is for my kids. I want to be an inspiration to other people's kids because I can't live up to that role of people I don't know. But I would like to inspire them. But my thing is to show my kids that um, as a family, we got a landmark and it came from the community. So no matter what you achieve in life, you know, take daddy's attitude and stay a people's person. And speaking of which, your family, in your acceptance uh, speech, you made sure you shouted out everybody. There's, there's love and family in your heart. How important has family been to your success and the things that you've been able to accomplish in life? Man, that's how I eat at night. You know, I get a hot meal. <laughs> and when I come home and I'm mad at being on the road, I get a kid that smacks me in my face. So I, I immediately stop looking at myself and I accept the fact that um, I have to turn into being a daddy. And family teaches you how to turn it off. And let my good brother. Yes. He's family. The man behind the camera. We yes. um we did a collaboration for Pink Tober and um We've been beside him and his family, and um, this guy's a great guy in the city, and 
when we open this park up, we're gonna do something even more special, like, you know, hip hop, real estate, and sporty riches just beginning. There's so many things on the horizon. And you being the voice of the city and still wearing your shoes is very exciting. Hey! <laughs> The importance of this park here today, where is it ranking on your on the things that you've achieved? Um, it's in the space of its own. It's like a new planet in the solar system. If you compare it to anything, you've missed the whole point. Because it's, it's, it's not for music. Yep. It's for just turning around. Some people don't turn around. They just like looking at themselves. You know, the people that came out today got jobs. Yeah. So some people said, boss, I'll be in late. And they stood out here and, you know, got their hair did and dressed up and some came casual, but we didn't come to impress the mayor. We just wanted the mayor to know that, you know, be a man of your word, Marty, and so far so good. And, and we love him for that and his team. And I'm happy. I mean, I'm on my way out of town. You know, we're on our way to the White House. Hey. He want to hear poison. We're going to give him poison. <laughs> We're going to give him poison in two days, baby. You heard it here hey, on the Hip Hop Real Estate, VVD, I new get edition. I in front of Michelle and Bama and Sasha. <laughs> Pennsylvania <laughs> Avenue's up next. We appreciate you always, man. Mike Bivens putting a B in Boston right along with Courtney Boston. Nobody loves this city like this man right here. And a big day for Roxbury. Tip on Real Estate TV, you heard it here first. Michael Bivens, the park, officially dedicated. No. It's a shame you don't treat me right. Then nah. I stick by your side. Girl, I work this nine to five Working. to buy you the things that you like. Cause you know it's